you two. You know, we're starting off with a bang already. Hi, YouTube, and all my new subscribers and my vintage subscribers. I'm not going to call you old. I have another Monday thrift haul. If you can see our little gargoyle sitting out there, Pixel. It's a very pretty day, about 50 degrees, so both of the dogs are enjoying some outdoor time, which makes me happy because they get bored and they follow me every time I move. Look at her just sitting out there. So regal. Anyway, I got a decent amount of stuff. About 80% of it is from Monday, which is half price. And I happened to skip in on a Friday. Or was it Saturday? I think it was a Friday. <laughs> because I happen to be in the area. And of course, I can't just drive by a Savers. I mean, I just had to go in. So I did see several things that I would have probably picked up on a Monday. But... No, they weren't cheap enough for me, the number one cheapskate. That's okay. That's how I work. That's how I make money. So let me show you those items first. Now, before I say that, uh, they had like three color tags were 50% off, and then I had my 20% off from my Savers Club card. So that was 20% off anything that was regular price. So it wasn't that much more, technically. So, yeah. So the items that I got that day, and I believe purple was the new tag, because of course almost everything I got is purple, <laughs> was this bag. It is Vera Bradley Frill. Every time I do a video and I say this is like a canvas coated um, kind of version of Vera Bradley and the inside is fabric, I always say flirt. It's not flirt, it's frill. And it's funny because... This is only $5.99, and usually anything Vera Bradley, they put $25.99 to $35.99. I'm not kidding. So I don't know if this gets past them or if they look at it and go, eh, it doesn't feel or look like a Vera Bradley, so we'll just, it's probably a knockoff. They don't get it. But that's good for me. Um, I got this 31 bag. It's kind of like a hobo bag where this is the kind of bag that when you have something in there and you go to find it, you're in there digging around trying to find it. Uh, it is very cute. Black and white does very well. People like it. And it's got this hot pink inside. And I could almost guess that this bag is reversible. Yeah, I would probably guess that to be the case. And it was only $3.99, uh, less 20%. So, I don't know, 20, 40, 60, 80 cents off. So, yeah, that was definitely a good pickup. I got these two signs. One says live life. It was $3.99. I put the the price on the front of a couple of things. I peeled it off and put it on the front because I give you all seasickness trying to find <laughs> the price by turning it over and moving the camera around. So, yeah. And then this other one is so, so, so adorable. It is well with my soul. Isn't that sweet? That was $2.99. I just love these. Now look at the original price on that. $16. It would not be well with my soul to spend $16 on a little sign. Anyway, I got two vintage um, vanity trays. One is an oval shape. It was $4.99. And the other one was $4.99, but it's a rectangle shape underneath. Pretty cool. Hi, guys. <laughs> so um, I always sell these. Uh, they don't sell real fast, but they always sell. <clears throat> um, I've seen much smaller ones. The smaller they are, then people buy them because they're just cutesy. But these will take a little bit. But I use them as a display in the meantime. It's all good. What is going on with my focus? Um, you guessed it. Can you tell me what this item is? Take a wild guess, everybody, all together now. It's $3.99. It is a cork cage. You know how I buy these, and I love them. Um, just pop some corks in. I always have a few handfuls or like a little bag that I always keep on hand. I buy them. If I find them real cheap at a garage sale or a thrift store, I hang on to them. And then when I get an item like this, I put a handful in because otherwise people have no idea what they are for when they see these. They're like, oh, that's cute. Now what do I do with it? So, yeah, that was definitely an easy pickup for that price. And this is interesting. It is a glass dome with a wooden bottom. It was $4.99 and 20% off. 
uh, just I got a lot of ideas for this. So if you guys have an idea what I should do with this, what do you think? I was thinking about putting like putting a glue and a little like knob on the top and then maybe putting some, I don't know, some like burlap wound balls or something display like in there. Um, yeah, we'll see what my brain comes up with. So that was a cute pickup as well. Now, everything else was 50% off. Um, love, love, love this little bird cage look at, or bird house. Look at the adorable, uh, like cover on it. It was $6.99 then half. Look at this. This was originally like a Joanne Fabrics thing, $30. And of course, you know, right away they put them half price. So even at 15, yeah. Oh, now she's barking. <laughs> She hasn't moved from that spot since I started. Anyway, I got this adorable painting. I don't usually buy paintings, but just this one, I just really, really liked it. Don't know why. It's got the ducks on it. Very well done. Probably just a local artist type person. It is a canvas. It is original. $3.99. Might just put that on eBay because why not? This I love too. It is blue and gold with a little bit of the green in it. And it says home is where your story begins. Um, and it was $3.99. It was half, so it was two. You can tell it's never even been hung up because uh, it's covered where they uh, have the hooks. But I just love, it's like a kind of a grayish driftwood look to the frame. Very, very, very much like that. Um, let's see what else. Um, the bottom I covered up because this is a project piece. Uh, it was $4.99. It's kind of an ugly picture, but I have an idea, craft idea for the frame, so I will be uh, doing that. I'm going to start showing you some of these projects because I always say, ooh, I'm going to do this or that, and you're probably like, I wonder if she ever did that, or did it turn out, or did she never do it at all? So, yeah. So, this is like a wood carved, I don't know, it's one of those you find from like Indonesia. Very heavy. It is $3.99, or it was two. Very cute. Now, let me show you. This is in some of the condition that I get stuff, and the way things are staged when I buy them is very funny. This particular birdcage, very beautiful. It was only $7.99, $8, or $8 and then half. And if you can tell, it's got this real pretty, you know, like tree on it, and the top opens. It has this ugly chain that doesn't even match the color. And I believe our parrot is dead. So yeah, it's just kind of funny how people, you know, stage things. I don't know. I'll figure out something to do with this. Even if I sell it by itself, it'll do just fine. But the the parrot, yeah. It's an ex-parrot, as they said in uh, Monty Python. <laughs> anyway, hang on. Who's in here? Who's it? Oh, Tater and Pixel! Yep, they were starting to bark, and uh, Mr. Pudgy Picker is on the phone. So he didn't want to hear them barking. And neither does who's on the phone with him either. Love this sign. I do find out several things that I, like, if I decorated with a lot of stuff, I would keep them. But this is very cute. You didn't come this far to only come this far. Very, very, very cute. I did put the uh, price sticker on the front because I didn't want to have to turn it over. So that was only $2.50. Um, this one says, every love story is beautiful, but ours is my favorite. Isn't that sweet? It's gray. It's got the gold on it. It was only two. These I'm going to do my research on. Um, I believe these are shells that people will serve caviar on, which means they could be worth quite a bit. So I'm going to do my research and go from there, but there are, what, one, two, three, four, like six of them in there, and they were only 250. It's very rare to find them that big where they're not damaged. Um, another Boyd, I've been selling a lot of birds in my booth, not sure why, but I don't know, spring, 
maybe people are thinking spring. This one does have scary hypnotizing eyes. <laughs> but I like how they do the crazing in there. I just think that's so cool. This was only $2. Uh, is that it? Okay, let me sit down. Ooh. I'm going to give this one to my sister. And my videos, if you don't know this and you're new to the channel, uh, they are a week behind. So all the stuff that I found, I actually found last Monday as you watch it. Just because that gives me time to get the stuff uh, you know, put away and then I have the video up on Monday instead of it being delayed into Tuesday. Long story short, she will get this before she sees it. That's the plan. Sisters are great as long as they wear the same size clothes. Isn't that cute? So it's just one of those basic wooden signs. It was two dollars. Oh, shouldn't show her. Sorry, Kim. Don't want to tell you how much it was. <laughs> That's tacky. Um, funny enough, when I'm there on Mondays at both stores, they never have the carts out putting stuff out, putting new clothes out or new hard goods. But they did today, and it was weird because I walked in and I was like, "Ooh, is that a cart?" Never see them because I'm never usually never there except on a Monday. So when I saw this, I'm like, "Give me some of that." So this is a Yankee Candle Company Home Classic box. It has uh, these three little metal stands with the votive holders and three vanilla icing votives candles are included, which I don't like the scent of anything sweet, vanilla, icing, sugar, brown sugar. Ugh, don't like it. But that's me. So $3. I didn't even bother opening it up, so hopefully there's no issue with it. I do not believe it is taped, no, but it seems pretty solid, so yeah. And if anything were to be broken, it would be one of those votive glass inserts, which are easy to find anywhere, so that is not a big deal. And for $3, I was very happy to get it. Um, this frame is bordering on cheesy, almost didn't get it, but it is nautical, and people like nautical, don't know. Nautical Lighthouse Frame, $2.99 or $1.50, so that will go to my booth. This will go in my booth. I try and tell you if it's going in my antique booth or if it's going online. So usually by the time somebody goes, ooh, I'd really like that, I hopefully am close to listing it if it's not been listed already. Adorable puppy dog, not you. Hi. <laughs> but a cookie jar, or I guess you could put doggy treats in there too. This little guy was only $3. I don't know. It's nothing special, something warehouse trading. But people like dogs. You could use it for cookies, or you could use it, like I said, for doggy treats. Uh, so that will go into my booth. I saw this and thought, oh, it's so adorable. People like the figurines that are all white. Seems to be a trend of people decorating with like all white or off white. And this little fox was only a dollar fifty. Isn't he beautiful? See, that's the kind of thing I could see in front of this picture back here, you know, as staging would go. Um, okay, I'm gonna give you uh, a little quick tip on finding purses. Um, one way that I can find purses and purse brands that I've never heard of but are worth something is you kind of get an eye after a while. And this one in particular, I looked at it and I thought, oh, the retro cassette tape player on there is cool. It's a thicker material. It looks well made. It's got this real thick strap on it. And then when I looked inside, it's got, this is a closure and a place to hang your keys. It is really a cool, sturdy bag. So when I felt it, I'm like, you know, that feels like quality. So the name on this is Parcel, never heard of it. So I went ahead and uh, uh, toward the end of when I'm done looking, I'm over by the shoes, so I have a seat by where people try on the shoes, and I'd look up a few things, this being one of them. I only paid $2.50 for this. These go between probably $25 to $40, depending on the style. This is like a, I wouldn't say messenger because it's not real wide, but it is a crossbody. So this should do pretty good. It is a little bit, I don't know if you can pick this up on camera, but it is a teeny bit, uh, I 
wouldn't say dirty. Yeah, it's hard to tell. But there's a couple places. It's not so clean. I will disclose all of that and charge a little less. And since I only paid $250, i will still make probably 20 bucks off of it. So that was a decent pickup. Like I said, you get a feel for it. And, you know, everybody says, oh, all the thrift stores, they know what everything's worth. They don't. There's so much. They go, oh, very badly. That's worth a million dollars. It's not anymore. Nobody wants to buy it. Or it does sell very slowly. So stuff like this, parcel, relic, um, 31 does pretty good. Um, fossil, a lot of things really do get past their radar. And I have a fossil bag I'm going to be listing this week. And it is uh, green leather, but it is worn in. And that, in your search terms, would be distressed. Some people like that. So, yeah, parcel. If you see it, pick it up, look it over. If it looks good, list it. Uh, I got some candles. These are just the long taper ones. Uh, they were only $1.50. I don't have an immediate need for these, but um, I have a couple project ideas in mind, and I thought, you know, I'll just pick them up. And when I need them, they'll just be the plain white ones. There are six of them in there. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, yeah. Not a bad pickup. Um, if you need ever need candles, uh, shipping supplies, uh, office supplies, staples, stapler, paper clips, rubber bands, etc., and stationery, always go to the thrift store. People get it as gifts. People have all kinds of stuff that they never use. So that's a great great place to pick thing, those things up for yourself. So this is uh, a stationery set I got as a gift for somebody. Um, it has an S, it has green cards, and blue cards. So for $1.50, I got those. They're adorable. And stuff like this, if you go to a, like a Hallmark store and try and buy this, this would probably be $15 to $18. <clears throat> I don't know what brand these are. I don't know. But yeah, nice pickup. And I got it for a guy because guys don't like little girly cards. And if you need to scribble a little note, these are blank inside, then that's perfect. Um, what else? I laugh because every week I forget something. Um, got this. It is uh, metal, believe it or not. Uh, made in India, and it's very vibrant, blood red. It has a place for a tea light, and it has the bottom you can unscrew and take off, and then it can hang up, so that's a lantern. Lanterns do good in my space, and at two bucks, yeah, I had to pick it up. And I have uh, incense and other things that are Indian in my booth, so I will put a candle in that, and I will put it with my other liked themed items. I know this video is getting long. I've had some comments, people like long videos. And if your battery's running low or you can't, just pause me. I'll be here when you get back. It's all good. <laughs> uh, this metal home sign, people like these. They always sell, whether it's a, a block sign like these or a metal sign. They say home, family, bonjour, love, live, life, dream, etc., etc. They always do well. $1.50, that will go to my booth. Um, the lantern, I said, was the booth. Um, here's another little birdhouse. Very adorable. Uh, only $2. So I have a way to hang these in my space. Or I have a shelf that I can put them on with my other bird-related items. <clears throat> Excuse me again. I'm working without a drink today. Um, I saw this. This Somebody made this and probably sold them. Very, 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 very cool. And this is something if you want to make something to sell, this would be awesome. This is very sturdy. Um, this is a very 1980s. Can you tell by the clothes and the colors they're wearing? Rolling Stone album. It is made into a purse. And I just stuffed it with some bags. And it's got a name on here. Crystal... Renona, Winona. Um, so if you're out there still making these, they're out there. <laughs> it's got kind of these mesh sides and bottom, very sturdy with the rivets, um, kind of this webbing for a handle. And the back is actually the record. Isn't that cool? And very colorful label. Some of the labels are kind of plain. 
And one of the band members got their face punched out. Isn't that funny? <laughs> I just now noticed that. So, yeah, that was a good pickup. I will probably do a little bit of research online. Uh, it was only $3. If I don't find much on it, I could always put it in my booth. But that I will put online first. Yes, yes. This is also one of those weird, kind of cool weird items. Um, it is a bag or a purse made out of beer caps. Now, Tusker beer, never heard of it, so I'm like, I have a minute, I'll do some research on it. This is stuff I normally do later that you guys tell me in the comments, and I'm like, oh, I guess I'll find that out later when I do my research. Two dollars, couldn't beat it. Uh, let's see, here's the opening. Isn't that awesome? So Tusker beer, I looked it up, it is a... East African beer. And it says they make, uh, I, I looked up, they, I mean, they're the biggest beer like distributors and the most popular beer in Africa. And the they make 70 million liters a year. A little FYI, don't know if you care, but these are the kind of things I find in my research. And I, you know, if you sell it or not, if I make my money, which I know I'm going to make a decent amount on this probably. But look at all the stuff you learn in the meantime. It's really awesome. There's so much to know and so much to learn. And I just learned about Tusker beer because that's important in life to know those things. This is an awesome item. $2.99. It is marble. $1.50. Made in Italy. Um, this could be a myriad of things. This, I could, uh, you could put a little plant in there, like an air plant. You could just have it sitting on your dresser to put your jewelry in or your rings. Um, it could be a soap dish. It could be anything you want, but it is solid marble and it's just so awesome. Very, very adorable. See, this is why I like thrifting. You just never know what you're going to find. It's just crazy. You can find something made in Italy, and then you can find a dog cookie jar. I mean, it's awesome. Um, one last sign, and this one says, make it happen. $2.99. This is, see, I, I kind of like the signs that are more neutral colors because people are more apt to buy them. I don't know. This could be like in a girl's room or something. And for $1.50, I had to say yes. So, last items that I have. I'm looking around on my table to make sure I didn't forget anything. Um, I got some brooches. This is a future video. I'm changing up how I sell some of my jewelry in my booth and including other jewelry. So, I will do a video later because these are part of what I'm going to be doing. <clears throat> so, let's show you. Brooches have been kind of a eh, seller in my booth. But they're just, they're displayed on like a little spinner and they kind of get lost. I don't know. I'm finding a better way to do them, like I said. But I wanted to show these to you. I have, uh, all these are half price. Keep in mind, we have two guitars. Or I know if one's a violin, pardon me. My daughter played violin. I should know what a violin looks like. But they look the same to me. So one was three, one was two. We have this coral, was two fifty. Um, this, um, oh, what do you call it? A cameo. Very pretty. Isn't that adorable? Two dollars. Three dollars for this seahorse. We have a starfish. Was 50 cents. Nothing is ever under 99 cents. And it's rare to find a 99 cent item in my savers. Very pretty. I always look these over real good to make sure they're not missing any stones. That, I believe, was three. This bow was two. Panic button, 50 cents. <laughs> I pressed it several times, but uh, I still had whatever I was panicking from, so it doesn't really work, but we'll sell it anyway. We have this little locket. It was 250 and a Hello Kitty for 50 cents. So uh, that video will be coming soon. I will show you uh, how I'm changing up a few things. I'm always tweaking stuff in the booth, always you know, trying to make the most of my space, and this is definitely one of those times. So I believe that is everything. So what did you see that you liked? What did you see that you're surprised by? What did you see that you're like, I would have left that at the thrift store? <laughs> I, I always tell people to do that. Nobody ever does, but I'm like, 
just curious, what would you be like? I don't know what you were thinking. So, yeah, that's all I got. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, I got a whole bunch of new subscribers that have uh, popped on here in the last couple weeks. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the craziness. I talk fast and I talk a lot. So, that is me. <laughs> so, give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't. I would love to have you to the family, the Pudgy Picker family. So, uh, also follow me on Instagram and Facebook under The Pudgy Picker. I post once in a while, trust me. I don't post even 10% of what Donald Trump does. So you won't be inundated with Pudgy Picker. So that is all. I will see you guys next week. And until then, happy picking. Bye.